I used to work with real pieces of shit, right? So I'm going to give you a small list of shitty things that people have said to me in my job, basically. Now I'm going to name drop the first guy because he's a douchebag. Um, his name is Wayne. And uh, it's like he set out to really piss people off. And one of those people was me. There was one time he said to me, I bet you'd be the kind of person who would um, turn your friends into the guards. I said, <laughs> in your face, I don't have any friends. And then there was another time. Now, these were just like out of the blue. Like we weren't even having a conversation. So then there was another time when he said, you know, I'm not really, I don't find tall women attractive. And I said, is that because they don't like you back? Because as a tall woman myself, we appreciate good personal hygiene in a man. Maybe work on that. And then there was another time when he said, talking to me was like talking to a Down syndrome child. Now, I thought that one was despicable because he was using somebody with a disability as an insult towards someone else. So I told my supervisor I didn't clap back on that. And my supervisor did sweet fuck all. He said, oh, but you know, that's Wayne. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> then there was another time he overheard me having a conversation with somebody about uh, my husband's comic book writing. And he decided to like, just join the conversation. And he said, yeah, but he's never going to make money off of that. And I said, and your talent is... He'd also say really stupid shit as well. He said that we don't need douches because vaginas clean themselves out every month. <laughs> when I tried to correct him, <laughs> he, would, he was arguing with me on the ground. I was like, you do realise I have a vagina. I know how my body works. The uterus clears itself out every month. He was like, yeah, that's the same thing. Oh my God. I just can't with him. Like, ugh. So moving on to other people. The other people aren't as bad, but there was some doozies. There was one girl in particular who I honestly didn't like. I think I was the only, I was the first person in the room to dislike her. Everyone else like liked her until they didn't like her. And they're like, wow, you were right. Let's just say she's an anti-vaxxer. After I had Maeve, my third baby, um, she almost died at birth. So she was you know, um, insufficient, basically. Well, she, she didn't have the greatest immune system. I was worried about her. And I said, oh, she'll be getting her vaccine soon. She just needs to get a little bit stronger first. And she was like, oh, you're going to... She's going to get vaccines. And I was like, yeah. She's like, oh, I don't believe in that. You know, like, you really believe Big Pharma? Uh, uh, oh, d I just realized one of my eyelashes is falling off. Hang on. And I just said to her, look, I said, if you bring in a measles or something like that into this factory, and I end up bringing it home to my daughter, who has, this, who has a very weak, weak immune system, I will have no problem um, sure that your daughter grows up without her mother and I said you do realise that you will have to get your daughter like immunised anyway because schools won't, won't allow children in if they're not vaccined vaccinated like, that's not true and I was like being a mother I said you should know this shit and there was another time when I had a cough now, and I was coughing into my sleep like this I wasn't using my hands or anything and she said to me, if you cough one more time, I'm going to slap you in the face. And I said, if you say that one more time to me, I'm going to slap you in the face with my fist. Now, here's the resistance. This is my, this is the worst one. Now, everyone in Ireland knows a story about Savita, Savita Halapadavar, the woman who was refused an abortion because we're a Catholic country and she died of, of um, sepsis from a miscarriage. Well, I was talking to this woman whom we got on so well together. I used to call her my work mommy. 
But she was saying, I was trying to explain to her that, you know, she, she didn't die of malpractice. But she was arguing with me down to the ground that it was malpractice. Those of you who don't know that, about that story, look it up. She is the reason why abortion is allowed in Ireland today. It was not malpractice. He heard the teeniest, tiniest, teeniest, tiniest bit of a faint heartbeat so they couldn't abort because it was illegal. So they just let her die. They couldn't do anything because it was against the law. Malpractice. Oh my God, I was so fucking angry. I heard I didn't speak for days after that. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there for now because it's already gone. Jesus, nearly six minutes. Um, I don't think anybody's going to watch this much. But, um... Yeah, if I come up with any more lovely little anecdotes, I will make another video. It was a wonderful place to work, so it was. Slán. <laughs>